Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of SpaceX Updates. In this video, we'll dive into the preparations for the upcoming Starship IFT-3. Updates on the AX-3 mission. The imminent launch of America's next moon lander mission. The revised launch timeline of the Polaris Dawn mission. And a glimpse into both past and upcoming missions of SpaceX. Let's kick things off with the eagerly anticipated Starship flight. Yesterday, SpaceX rolled out Booster 10 from the build site to the launch complex, showcasing potential modifications aimed at addressing fuel sloshing issues, possibly related to the previous booster's explosion. And after midnight, Booster 10 was securely mounted onto the orbital launch mount. The upcoming road closures posted on the Cameron County website hint at either a cryogenic test or a full wet dress rehearsal. Additionally, attention is on Starship S-28, which recently underwent engine swaps and gearing up for a potential static fire test before flight. Over at the orbital tank farm side, the installation of the ninth and final cryo storage tank marks significant progress. Upgrades to the orbital tank farm continue, underscoring SpaceX's commitment to enhancing launch infrastructure. As SpaceX readies for the third Starship flight, expectations are high for a successful orbit attempt, with mission objectives outlined in a dedicated video. Shifting the focus to recent achievements, earlier today, SpaceX concluded Axiom Space's AX-3 mission, achieving a flawless recovery of the Dragon spacecraft. Following a successful platform. stint at the International Space Copy. Station, Brace the crew returned down. to Earth, marking another triumph for SpaceX's crewed missions, making the 11th successful recovery of a crew mission with a 100% success rate. Down. Dragon SpaceX, brace for capsule lift. Bracing. And a nice big jump into the ocean for the recovery <laughs> crew. SpaceX is targeting February 14 for the launch of Intuitive Machine's IM-1 mission, poised to deploy the first commercially built lunar lander under NASA's CLPS program. The launch is currently scheduled for Wednesday at 11.27 a.m. Eastern Time from Pad 39A. If successful, IM-1 would mark a historic achievement as the first private spacecraft to soft land on the moon. While recent missions like Astrobotics Peregrine and Hakuto R pursued similar goals, they failed after facing technical challenges. Remember the United States is yet to put a spacecraft on the lunar surface since the last Apollo mission about 50 years ago. The thrill of space exploration rises as the Polaris Dawn mission, now targeting a summer launch, draws closer. While delayed, the mission continues to generate exciting anticipation. This groundbreaking endeavor aims to make history with the first ever commercial spacewalk on a private mission on a Dragon spacecraft. Yesterday, SpaceX successfully launched NASA's PACE mission marking the company's 11th launch of the year. Four, three, two, one, booster ignition. Full power engines and liftoff of the Falcon 9 and PACE helping keep pace with our ever-changing ocean and atmosphere. NASA's latest Earth-observing satellite called PACE, which stands for the Plankton, Aerosol, Cloud, Ocean Ecosystem Mission, will help to advance our understanding of the complex interactions between the ocean, atmosphere, and climate. However, on the West Coast, the Starlink 713 mission faced another delay, highlighting the intricacies of space launch operations due to bad weather. Hold, hold, hold. The launch house sequence is aborted. With that, I'll wrap up this episode of SpaceX Updates. Stay tuned for future developments, and don't forget to check out the links provided for the upcoming launches. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.